Hey there, my name is Promise, and welcome to more Terra Invicta, playing as the Resistance. If you guys recall at the end of the last video, we discovered we have a lot of nasty stuff heading our way. Specifically, we have not one, not two, but three army carrier ships on their way to Earth, and they will all be arriving in February of 2037. That does not give me a lot of time to scramble a lot of forces to try and intercept these guys, because when these ships arrive, they are going to attempt to land some armies on Earth. If we are not able to get rid of them immediately, they are going to establish an alien presence on the planet, and it's going to be very, very difficult to uproot them. So, we have a couple of different layers of defense. One, we can build up a lot of armies and make them as advanced as possible. I'm trying to do that right now in the United States. We have 5.8 military tech. I'd like to get that up to about 6 by the time they arrive if possible, and we are building up more armies and navies, ensuring that we're going to have a global presence with these troops. I'm doing the same thing in the EU at 5.6. Six, Britain at just straight out 5, and the Eurasian Union at 4.5. This one obviously has the longest way to go and doesn't have very many troops, but at some point every little bit helps. It also helps that I have a large land mass because there's a chance the aliens land in territory I control directly, and that way I don't have to risk, you know, declaring war on some poor independent nation just so I can get access to the aliens. I'd hate to have to do that, but... If that's what it takes, that's fine. The other thing we can do is build up some battleships and try to intercept some of those uh, assault carriers and blow them up. So to that end, I'm building up some battleships and battle cruisers, hoping that these are going to be able to give me a slight edge. It is a bit risky, though, because the moment I intercept and destroy some alien ships, you better believe the hatred is going to go way, way up. However, at some point, I think I just have to accept that this is going to be the way of the game now, and we are declaring full-out war on the aliens. I would have loved to go under the radar for a bit longer, but here's the thing. I haven't played the game in like two weeks, all right? And in that time, we've had another patch. And in that patch, supposedly, the aliens are now way, way, way more aggressive. So if we start seeing them launching loads of ships, not only to Earth, but also to places like Mercury... Oh, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. This does kind of put a damper in my hopes that I could possibly start up a new base in Jupiter. That may not be in the cards anymore, but it might mean that it's time for me to say, you know what? We're playing our cards. We're going to go for it. Now's the time. It's 2035. Let's start building out massive defensive fleets around every planet so I can protect myself against at least some minor threats. I am researching upgrades to things like my plasma cannons, though, which is going to be nice. So if you can get some better cannons, I don't know, maybe that gives me a slight edge. Tier 2 is always going to be better than Tier 1, am I right? Probably. Don't forget that we also have another advance in our story we need to work on, learning about how to destroy the alien supply line through a wormhole that we detected out in the... What was it? The Make Make system? Something along those lines. We also can research a whole load of exotic weapons and stuff, but this only becomes useful to me if I can get some exotic materials. And the only way we're going to get that is by destroying a lot of alien stuff. So... Yeah, the sooner we can actually take them on, the sooner I can start ramping up the best possible ships. Regime change just took place in Australia. Oh, we also just learned how to make Tier 3 colonies. Lovely. Okay. Um, let me come back to that in a second. So, now that Australia is being held by the Academy and not by Humanity First, I feel a little bit better about trying to launch a coup here. Because I kind of got... You know, a lot of support here, so I feel like this should be pretty easy to do. And once I take over all of Australia, given a little bit of time, South Africa, Australia, and eventually New Zealand can all join in with a united former British Commonwealth. What I do think would be worth doing is trying to find a way to place a shipyard in every one of my planets. I'm thinking Mars, I'm thinking Mercury. Get some of those up and running so that we'll be able to build our own defensive fleet at a pretty quick notice and not have to worry as much about the Delta V and the long transfer time. This is especially true around Mars. Maybe we could found our first ring station here. Do I think I can go up to about 149 mission control before we have issues? Maybe. And we could stack this thing with some layered defenses and some shipyards so we can build up defensive fleets here. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take a risk and we're gonna try for it. Let's build around Mars. So ring stations, as you can see here, are, um, well, they're kind of huge. These things are just absolutely gigantor, which is great. Um, so we want to place down probably mostly a bunch of fusion reactor arrays. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that's going to be any good for us. 
So let's place down at least a couple of these things, make sure we're getting loads of power, fill in at least a handful of shipyards, and then probably mostly just defenses. All right, that's what this is. It's gonna be just one giant battle station, a handful of shipyards, and a load of power and point defense arrays. This thing is going to be a fortress station. In fact, we're gonna name it as such. Whew, it's gonna be beautiful when it's built though, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Oh man, I hope this thing's gonna be able to survive. The first of our Syracuse-class battleships have been launched into space. All right, let's take a look at these beauties. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Oh, that is a handsome looking ship right there. I mean, it's kind of not in the lighting right now, so it's kind of hard to see, but Look at that thing, Beautimus. Now, unfortunately, even with all of these ships put together, I've only got a combat strength of 569 here, which is not really a lot um, compared to, let's say, their army carriers at 622. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty difficult for these. But stack a few more of these battleships on here. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm not gonna say there's a non-zero chance. We might be able to do something about this still. Ha ha ha, okay, interesting. Kurdistan just declared independence from Iraq. Oh, that's interesting, okay. Hey, the Orion Drive, awesome. A really good combat drive, I like that. Uh, EU, I would like you to federate with Turkey, please. Thank you. There's the phased array lasers done. Okay, beautiful. Um, I really, really don't know what I wanna do for my next round of tech. I mean, I'm getting the magnetic nozzles over here because this leads to a lot of really good drives eventually. It's just one necessary component for most of the good stuff. We could start working toward things like some antimatter if we wanted to be really crazy. Um, Space Assault Doctrine, Advanced Marines, I mean, maybe. Oh gosh, I don't know, I just, mm. I, I can't get the ultraviolet combat lasers because I'm working toward getting green lasers right now. I know those are solid. I could start working on a really expensive fusion project, but there's so many fusion projects, it's hard to know what's really necessary. Let's just grab the administration algorithms. Somehow I feel like this might eventually lead to some way of dealing with my governing cap issue. Because right now I'm a little bit over since I've managed to snag Australia. Let's go ahead and federate the UK with South Africa. Done and done. Okay, so that creates their new faction, yes? The United Kingdom apparently is the Federation. Mm, right, okay. Well, I mean, that's... I would have liked to have seen it called the Commonwealth, but sure, that's fine. Ooh, this is gonna be a helpful research. Okay, the agriculture complex. It's like a farm. But whereas one farm could take care of 750 people, on a tier three station, an agricultural complex can deal with 3,000. That is how much material it is basically worth per month if you have a station with that many people on it. That is so massive. I mean, seriously. This thing is better than most actual mines. Huh, this is interesting. Okay. So, um, apparently, the alien threat meter actually updated, which is weird because I haven't had any interaction with the inner uh, aliens that I know of. It was at three pips a second ago, but it still says our last fixed estimate was December 2031, five years ago which is not correct, but it just bumped up to level four. Huh. I'm not too sure how that happened. I wouldn't be surprised if in the patch notes at some point, they revised this. They said that they would make it more frequent, but it still says December 2031. That's why I'm confused. Regardless, it looks like the aliens are getting a little bit more concerned about me. Knowing that that's true, what do we have going on here? Oh boy, another mothership is on its way to Earth. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, that's good. Uh, we have more ships rallying with the armies. An attack bomber, Dreadnought. Oh, goody. Wow, it's strong. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Um, these are rallying with Victor 69, which I don't know which one that is because these are not in numerical order for some reason. Oh, it's a transport, which is on the way over here. They're building a lot of ships and they're rallying them all over to the army carriers. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me. Um. One thing I could consider doing is going to Earth and finding my shipyard and upgrading this so I can start building more ships faster. The only question is, will that be enough to kick me over into maximum threat? Because if so, I'm about to have a mothership and a whole bunch of stuff sitting over here, ready to start destroying every station I own. 
But if we can do this, I mean, it definitely will result in me getting a, uh, a lot more ships produced a lot faster. Oh, 60 days. You know, I think we got to give it a go. All right, here goes nothing. We've researched the visible lasers, green lasers specifically. Uh, so now it can split into two different categories. You can see here we have light green phasers and we're gonna have light green arcs. So what's realistically the difference between these then? The difference is the arc lasers do more damage and are more effective against armor, but have a 20 second cooldown compared to the phasers at 10. So if you want something that fires fast and is capable of better point defense, probably in particular, uh, in addition to, you know, actually doing some good offense, maybe the phaser's the way to go. We'll research this, just because I feel like it would be nice to unlock this for my uh, layer defense arrays, especially knowing that there are so many alien ships on the way. Gosh, we're going to have a hard time, guys, for real. Um, I, I think the alien aggression has turned way, way up. And, I mean, I've got a lot of materials stored up, but unless we're able to start building out massive fleets, I think we could be in trouble. See, again, our uh, threat level just dropped from four to three. Huh. But it still says it hasn't updated, so I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Oh, good, another transport has arrived on Earth. We're gonna be seeing that thing crash in just a moment, for sure. Oh, <sighs> yeah, it, that, there it is. Seems like the aliens are uh, really intent on having like three, four, or even five agents at any given time. And since I can't really do much to them, it's getting kind of difficult to figure out what I'm supposed to do, except just kind of let them run rampant. Okay, the HAB module for our Earth station is done. Did I just see more stuff getting transferred to Earth? Gosh dang, they're really starting to head here in force. <laughs> they know what I'm doing! They know! I swear! Okay, anyway, so with this thing set up, um, the layered defense arrays are currently using plasma batteries and infrared. That's about to get upgraded to green lasers, so that's a slight bit better. Plus, we have regular point... Oh, no, phaser turrets for our point defense. That's great. Okay. So, um, right. We can get some space works upgraded on here. They cost a lot of power in contrast to the 40 we're spending on a shipyard here. A space works takes 120. Kind of a lot. But... We can definitely get these done here, and it lets us build a uh, load of warships in a fraction of the time, apparently. Also functions as a supply depot and can launch some probes. Yeah, alright. Um, well, I mean, it says we don't have enough power, but we're gonna get this thing upgraded. So at least both of these space yards. I don't know if I just disabled the construction of my other ships, or what? That would be interesting. How much power does a solar farm make? 125 compared to 42. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get these suckers upgraded over here as well. And honestly, why not just go ahead and upgrade the rest? Screw it, why not? Might as well do it. Get ourselves more space works probably. We have enough power for it. And then a lot more defense arrays would make some sense. And I've also unlocked the battle stations. Okay, so now we can actually upgrade these things to tier three, which gives me even more guns. Though admittedly, yeah, that's uh, that's very, very expensive. 240 power, like for real? Ow. Let's go ahead and unify the European Union with Turkey. Bada boom, okay. So Turkey is finally a member of the European Union. I've been trying for that for a very long time, am I right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that takes care of that. That's basically all of the EU claims I care about. I mean, there's obviously more in Scandinavia and Ireland and, you know, Iceland and stuff, and we could eventually integrate in the entirety of the British Commonwealth, and even all of Russia at some point, if we want to. That is optional. But for now, that's a pretty darn powerful-looking EU, and it's got a GDP worth about $21 trillion. Still not, you know, quite as good as the United States and North America, but let's be honest, really, what is? Um, but I, I feel good about this one. This is solid. Very, very solid. We've got a very, very strong foothold over all of Europe. Practically dominant. Yep, 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 yep. I like this. I like this. And we are building out armies pretty darn quickly. We've now got... We actually do get to keep the armies here? Holy crud, really? We get to keep the armies from Turkey? Well, what do you know? Okay, all of a sudden, I find myself with a lot of extra armies. I should probably build out the navy and quickly. I mean, yeah, the EU did lose a little bit of military tech level, but that's fine. I mean, good lord, two free armies. So yeah, if you integrate nations peacefully and they have armies, you keep them. And they upgrade to tech. 
that's honestly really pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and unify Britain with South Africa and just get that over with. Bada boom! Okay, so that's been fully integrated now. Which does create some small issues and just dragged down my military tech by like 0.5. My god. Yeah, this is a really good argument for why you ought to have like one technologically superior nation and then not blob with them. Just let them build dang tall. Whatever, it's fine. Deals with a lot of my uh, governing cap. Now I can move on to other stuff if I want to. Ooh, the US just got a bit of an upgrade. Okay, so tech level up to 6.0 means we are now in the invasion age in contrast to the robotics age that our other advanced nations are. So everything looks a little different all of a sudden. These are some pretty cool looking tanks. They look like something straight out of Halo. Hey, our ship arrived in Europa. Okay, hang on. We actually can take a look at what's going on around Jupiter now in the Jovian system. Hello. Okay, we are here. We are ready to go. Um, So how do I do anything here? Found a, fla a platform, sure. Survey the uh, planetoid. Yes, I would imagine Europa is worth doing some exploration. So I guess I will do that. Let's survey. It'll take 28 days. That's not so bad. How much Delta V do we have left? Eight out of our 39 starting. I definitely will need to get a basic platform up and running so I can get a refueling post over here. Otherwise, we are going to be very, very stuck. But in the meantime, at least we're here, and I can look around. Whether I can do anything before the aliens kill me, totally different question. Uh, wait a minute, hang on. An alien ship is on its way toward Romeo 10. It'll be there in about a month. Hold on, you're intercepting my scout? Why? Uh, okay, no, I don't even see the ship. It's supposed to have zoomed in on it somewhere, but all right. Yeah, it's on the way not just to Europa, it's, uh, it's specifically intercepting me. It is a Corvette of some sort, but it looks like I don't know anything as far as its weaponry, so I have no idea what this thing has. Odds are very good, it's going to destroy that thing. Huh. Well, the new question becomes, do I survey it and try to found an outpost of some sort quickly? Do I dare, or is that also going to get destroyed? I mean, I guess we're already here, we might as well, right? The whole point of being here was so it would be a lot faster than trying to uh, launch a bunch of probes. I don't know, maybe that's the way to go. And some space works are now finally built. Beautiful, okay. So we should see in just a moment then that our ships are going to be getting built up. So we'll finish the other two battleships. It says two days left. Yeah, I would think it'd be a little bit faster than that. 139 days? I thought I was able to build these ships in a fraction of the time. That's no faster than it was before. Hold up. We'll just, uh, we'll cancel, we'll cancel you. And we'll cancel you. And we'll try resetting this. 93 days! There we go. Okay, so we shave off about 40 days. Given a little bit of time, this thing will pay for itself with much better ships. Absolutely. So how big is my fleet now? It's looking a little bit better for sure. Got about a thousand combat power now. Okay, that for sure helps. And if I can get a couple more of those battle cruisers up and running, that'd be great. I've heard that enemy missile tech is actually a little bit stronger than it used to be, so point defense is even more important. Which is why I want to have some more support ships at the very least to protect my battle cruisers while they do a lot of the heavy lifting. Though, something I wouldn't mind doing is maybe going to the Syracuse and trying to get an upgrade on this sucker, because now we should have access to the bigger, better guns. So I like the idea of having bigger plasma, you know? And as long as it's the same type of weapon, we should be able to do this. We'd also upgrade our point defense with the phasers. We know these things fire off faster, which seems pretty darn good to me. Well, that completes our scan of Europa, and my god, it has a lot of good stuff on it. That is a tremendous source of water, at the very least. Some pretty decent volatiles and stuff as well. Not great on the fizzle materials, but it's there. Some decent noble metals over here. This is actually a really, really good spot. Huh. Okay, and we've unlocked the foundry. Cool. So I should probably go to Mercury and start doing a lot of upgrades. That's kind of what I'm getting out of this. Um, any more upgrades for our green lasers? Because... Well, pretty sure we're about to start fighting some stuff, and I'm gonna wanna have this. So do I wanna try founding an outpost? We'd start with a bunch of stuff on here, which could be nice. Um, We do need to found a platform for sure. I guess we could do that in low Europa orbit to start. I'm gonna start with this. I feel like this is the safer way to go. Um, But, I mean, we have to refuel this ship anyway. 
It's going to take a little while to get this stuff all built up. It's a very simple platform, nothing too crazy, just some fusion, a construction module. But all the stuff you'd need in order to build a lot faster. Well, I guess the ball's in your court, aliens. What are you going to do now that I'm in the Jovian system? You going to shoot it down? You might. So let's go ahead and go to Mercury and plan on getting a lot of upgrades here. This is going to be extra extremely expensive. No way around that. Um, but I think it's going to be worth doing. I'd like to get some upgrades for things like the nano factories. That might be the first thing I go for, actually. Get this thing upgraded. It's going to take only 40 days to do. That's fine. Once it's tier 3, get some tier 3 nano factory stuff. And I assume that it makes it faster to build everything else in Mercury that we care about. So there's going to be a little bit of delay here. That's fine, though. I think it's going to be worth it. Yep, combat imminent. Looks like the Corvette is going to try to take out my station. So you're telling me after all of this, I'm not going to be able to do a dang thing. And this ship has, like, zero weapons on it. So this is just death. Right. Well, um, thanks for that, I guess. I'll let the AI just take control. Not that it's going to matter. Gosh dang it. Well, I guess this answers that question. Uh, the aliens do not want me leaving the asteroid belt. Wow, one shot. Yeah, I've got no armor on this thing. Oh, what a shame. Okay. Weirdly enough, though, they have allowed me to finish building up the platform core. So even though I lost the ship, like, we're here. That is kind of weird, right? Like, if I can finish my construction module, we can actually do stuff in Europa despite all of this. Okay, a mothership just arrived on Earth. <laughs> yeah, that's a little scary. Um, cool, we did just finish building out some more shipyards, though, so that's a thing. Uh, control point in the Eurasian Union, don't care about that. Built out some uh, additional agricultural complexes and stuff, so that's all looking good. We've got our more fusion reactors. Okay, so undership construction. Um, can I get myself some upgrades? The answer ought to be yes. If I go to, yes, refit docked ship over here. I'm pretty sure I could add this to Q. Build to this. Ah, there we go. Okay, I can upgrade these over here. It's going to take 14 days. That is not so bad. Got our ring core in Mercury. So if I wanted to get, what is it? A nanofacturing complex. Is that the one? Hang on, accelerates the constructions of all hub, mo hub modules and so on. Yes, this is the one we want. Also gets me a little bit of material research and it is unsurprisingly a little expensive but could produce a lot of money. Love it. Now, unfortunately, I don't think my fleet is going to be fully built out and ready to go to intercept the aliens. So I definitely think the first round of army carriers are going to arrive on Earth, and that's two of them. We might be able to intercept the third, but that's kind of looking doubtful when you've got a battleship, plus you've got, oh gosh, two motherships and a dreadnought over here. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then there's more over here too. Oh good, more battleships, yep. Yeah, the aliens are here in force. They're here in big force. Their battleships aren't actually that scary. But the two motherships are really scary. All right. The good news is, if the aliens land on Earth and we repel them, I'm pretty sure, unless they've changed this, it does not generate hate. It's considered to be fair game if they land here and we repel them, I think. Uh, but if we were to engage them now, that would definitely generate some hate. And right now, I mean, we're, we're kind of right on the edge, I suspect. I think we're just barely under the 50 it would take for them to actively go out of their way to attack me, which is why I'm trying to be very, very careful right now. Okay, this is it. And just about a day, whoops, we're gonna find that the alien carriers have arrived on Earth, or around Earth anyway. There they are, I think. Wait, no, that's not it. Uh, they should be here. There they are, all right. So the question is now what? because we should be seeing that they are going to announce they are landing somewhere on Earth. Oh God, another army carrier's on the way. They're gonna arrive in May of next year. Plus they're gonna have a destroyer and another dreadnought to defend it. Oh no. The aliens are getting really aggressive here. So what is going on with these army carriers? They decided they don't wanna do anything? Um, they're just sitting here in low Earth orbits. And uh, maybe they're waiting for the next one to arrive in about a week or two. Gosh, dang, are they really? Oh, wait, nope, there it is, that's it. The aliens appear to have moved to the next stage of their plan. This is no midnight visitation or serendipitous abduction. This is open declaration that they are here and they are powerful. We believe they are preparing to deploy an alien, an army of alien war machines. Right, where? Where are they going to be? Um, um hello? Choke point, no, that's not it. Where, where are they? Oh, oh, 
Oh, they're landing in the European Union. That's the best I could possibly have hoped for. They're landing in my own backyard where I can park my troops and be ready for it. Okay, I've got 30 days to stop this. Only 30 before they're gonna disembark. Now, during that time window, we could try to use our agents to destroy their ship. We'll take a look at that in a minute, but I, I strongly suspect that's not gonna work for us in a lot of ways. And the second UFO is landing in the Eurasian Union in Riga. Now, I think that the ships almost always prefer to land next to each other. So I was hoping for that. So this means that when the third one arrives, there's a very good chance it's gonna land somewhere over here. All right, what am I doing? Why am I wasting time? Hold the phone. Guys, we need to rally everything I've got over here. Like now. So are we able to assault the alien ship? We should be able to, but look at that. It's a 1% chance of success. Alien defenses minus 36 chance here for me. I'd have to throw 128 op points just to get an 8% chance of destroying the ship outright before it can deploy any of its troops. So it's okay as a Hail Mary. Here's the other thing though, if you destroy it, I'm pretty sure you get like 50 hate outright from the aliens, like it's a huge amount. So not really a likely thing to work for me. I don't know if it's possible for me to investigate the alien activity, anything else that gives me some sort of an advantage. It'd be nice if I could, pretty sure it doesn't though. The other army carrier has arrived. It's probably gonna land in roughly the same-ish spot if I had to guess. Maybe close to Germany or, po nah, I'm already in Poland. Yeah, probably like Germany or something. Maybe, uh, maybe Czech Republic, who knows? Somewhere around there though, that's my guess. And we've already got a load of troops here ready to go. And the Americans are arriving in force as well. Now my goal is pretty straightforward. I want to land the bulk of my troops in one area to repel the first round of invaders. The rest are mostly there just to hold off the rest until we can clear them up and then send everything we've got. I cannot stress enough how unbelievably lucky it is that we had all of these uh, troop transports are landing in the same approximate area in land I already control. If they landed, let's say, in the middle of Africa or South America or God forbid, in like China or uh, the Himalayas where I can't get to them without peeving a load of people off, we would be in a lot of trouble because then it could actually try setting up an alien administrated state. But right now, I'm in a really good spot to pull them back. This is huge. Bratislava, that is where they're landing the third one. So yeah, we've got a limited amount of time to try and hold off three waves of aliens. Admittedly, I don't think I've ever seen three landing all at once, so I'm a little bit concerned about our chances here. The fight should begin any day now. There they are! All right, they have landed in Warsaw. Weird looking machines they got here, huh? Kind of cool, actually. All right, so the force appears small now, but it is building up in strength. Here's the cool thing. If you can attack it, basically as soon as they officially land and begin unpacking, I think they fight at, what is it, half strength? Eh, we'll find out in a second. Oh, wow, they've got a lot here. Yeah, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause, 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 pause. Okay. Actually, even less than that. Holy crud. No. Tell me we did not just take them from half all the way down here in like one shot. We might have. Anyway, the point is, they start off at like half strength, or I guess in this case, maybe less, maybe I'm wrong, and they build it up over time. That's why you want to get where they are landing as quickly as possible, because that is your best opportunity to knock them out before they get any stronger. The odds will never be more in your favor than that. Uh, yeah, we actually already destroyed one of their armies. Holy crud. Okay, we recovered a theropod, alien corpse, the salamanders. We've known about these guys for a while, but now we actually got a corpse. Cool, and an alien war doggo. Nice, okay, so I'm imagining we'll be able to do a bunch of um, scientific experiments on these things. That'll be nice. Yeah, enemy terrorize missions, get a penalty, do more damage to megafauna, and then do 25% extra damage to alien armies. Ooh, now that would be pretty good. Anyway, we are engaged in force here, and this is before the second army even arrives. We are obliterating these fools! Oh, and we got a live one, too! Yes! Yes! Why does he look like something from Halo with a plasma gun? Just saying, he kind of looks like a vulture. Holy crud, we actually were able to completely destroy those armies before the next group even arrived. Wow! Alrighty then, um, tell you what, I'm gonna take like half of these guys and move them up this direction and the other half will get into position around Bratislava because you know they're going to attack. Now out of curiosity, what's their strength considered to be? 7.2, okay. So their armies are still stronger than mine, but they're fighting at half strength and I have a huge numbers advantage. And to be honest, this first battle, like the Americans were here in force. 
So we were contributing, let's say, 36, 40 something, maybe about 45 or more army power compared to their 21, which explains why we beat them so darn handily. Yep, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. This is going as well as you could possibly have hoped for. Good lord, we're crushing it. Before the reinforcements even have a chance to arrive, we're crushed. They're gone! Oh my god. Wow. Holy crud, man. Okay, uh, turns out we're really good. <laughs> um, I don't know what I was worried about. We may have overdone it a little bit. It turns out I've got a lot of armies, and uh, once you stack them all up, I am very, very advanced, and the aliens stand absolutely no chance at all. Why have we lost so much science in the U.S.? Holy crud, what happened there? I don't know. Uh, anyway. Yeah, um, wow. Okay, we can definitely handle the next wave. You know what's sad to me, though, is despite all of this, we're not getting any exotics. I feel like destroying their armies ought to give me exotics. But no. All right, that's fine. Well, you know what? I consider this to be a full-out declaration of war. So I'm going to go ahead and start building out some new battleships, especially around Earth. And once I can finish upgrading the fortress station around Mars... We'll go ahead and get a lot more out of that as well. Let's get another one of these Furious classes on here. That's fine. So we're going to have a pretty darn powerful fleet uh, sitting around Earth. It won't be enough to take on motherships, right? I mean, against motherships, we either have to have a massive, super powerful fleet, or we need to get um, a whole load of roach destroyers with nukes on them and just pray that something gets through. Which, uh, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but... Regardless, I think this is the point of the game where I officially say, you know what, aliens? You've screwed with me, and you can't land on Earth. It is defended. So now I'm going to go into massive build-out mode around Mercury, Mars, Earth, wherever else I please, and we're going to start building out a fleet and take you on, especially around the Jovian system. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.